hand in hand. We're going to just get you guys up. We're going to walk you around that drill. So that drill will drill anything, any grasses, any mixes that you want to drill. That's got three boxes on it. It's got a main box, a grass box, and a small seed box. We can run all three boxes at the same time if need be. Um, so we're going to get up. I've got some seed samples over there. What goes where in what box? Um, and we can walk you around the drill and show you basically how it works, how to calibrate it if, if you want to. Uh, it's a simple, easy process. We've got a chart. It's going to give you a starting point, calibrate, and adjust to there to get the, get the right amount of seed on. Mixes, it's, it's just going to be a crapshoot. When we get into these five and six seed mixes, we're just going to have to go to a starting point and calibrate and adjust accordingly to get to the rate that you want. So, if you guys would like to get up, walk around, Greg and I can have, we'll walk you around the drill, we can answer questions. Because um, really, really all this is about is we know you guys are going to be the ones operating and running these, so we really want to get you guys confident and comfortable being around the drill and familiar with it. That way when it comes to going to the field, you guys are confident with what, what uh, you're putting on as well. So be sure to ask questions, yeah. So, on your... Never used a no till before, so you got any extra prep work that a guy needs to do? Say and you got forage barley, you pull your hay barley off, you want to put sedan or some kind of native grass in, are you looking at roller harrow and stubble? Are you, are you looking at what, you're knocking all that down or what? So that's what's really nice about the no till drill. The, the, the coulters in front aren't solely just to, to, to cut it, break through the, the, the surface if you've got a hard pack. They're really there, and it's the same blade as we use on all of our vertical till machines. What it's there to do isn't just break up and prepare a seed trench. It's meant to fully prep that soil. You'll get as full width, about inch and a half, two inches, and be able to adjust your depth to get you pretty much a seed bed prep in front of that. So that's the advantage of a no-till drill, because uh, really be, um, the, only, the only kind of scenarios you want to do any sort of tillage in front of a no-till drill is if you needed to level the field first. Should be done. Ready? My little would carry that. Any other questions before we go and kind of start doing a walk around? This has got to be really heavy to be able to push, push down in the back, right? Yes. That drill is heavy. It also has a weight bracket on it. We can add, we can add 800 pounds to that drill. wanted to transport it, would you just hook on it and tow it, or do you need to pick it up and put it on the trailer? And, if and you're going off? short distances, you can, you can just hook it behind your pickup and go. What do you mean by short distance? 20 miles, 10 miles, 5 miles? <laughs> um, I'm going to say <laughs> have a strong that's probably going to be up to you these guys. Yeah. Yeah. What we're planning to do, we have a meeting this evening, if anybody's interested, you're welcome to come to our meeting. but. Uh, we're going to be discussing whether or not we want to get a trailer to transport this because we do have great distances between places in our county and we have opened it up to the whole county, not just our district. Um, so we're thinking that we might have a trailer to transport it because that is really heavy to pull with a pickup, especially our little pickup. <laughs> and so, plus it's very wide when you're going down the road and you can't go very fast. So, so that's our option that we're looking at, but it's not finalized yet. Would you need to use GPS on a tractor? Or, I mean, if you want a real precision, would you have to use GPS to drive that? Or does it have markers? They can get a set of markers for that. Typically, we're just going to the conservation districts, just going like that. Fully 10 foot wide. But you can't. What other kind of things can you plant in it? I mean, you're talking grasses and things like that. Can you do 
Corn? <laughs> you can do barley's oats if you're, you're not going to be able. You can run corn through it, but not for harvest. More for like deer plots. But uh, I know this is more a question for you guys, but what's your maximum make? We don't, we, we don't have a maximum. We <coughs> just have a minimum charge of $200. Who provides the maintenance on it? Well, hopefully, everybody will take really good care of it, and it will be um, as yeah. if you owned the, the drill. But well, we um, that before. We know how that works. Yeah, so, we're, say? <laughs> so we're working with Brown Company to help us on that part of it. If we have something that needs replaced, we're going to try to work, work with them to, because Kirsten is somewhat of a mechanic. I am not, but um, we're, we're hoping that that's how we can work it out. But everybody takes really good care of it. And as far as like the daily maintenance goes, like greasing and that wise, if you're using it for multiple days, we, we request that you would take care of that portion. But as far as, like, if you're just having it for a day, we will do that when it comes back to us. So it just kind of depends on the amount of time you have it and how many acres you'll be going. Who's the, who's the, are you guys going to clean it when it's done? Or we, so so it or? you're expected to clean it. Yeah. We have a $100 deposit for cleaning. So if it comes back clean, we will refund that $100 to you. But if it comes back dirty, then we will keep that and we will clean it ourselves because we're not going to send it out with seeds already in it, so we're not messing up any other farmers or ranchers. Yes. Yeah. Do you, do you want to explain that one a bit more? <laughs> we're carrying insurance on it, but we're also asking the producer to carry insurance in case something happens. Uh, Is that available to you, or do you need to do that on your own farm plan stuff? Your own farm plan, yes. And in, the, in our agreement, it says how much our no-till drills were, so all that will be in there. Our seri serial numbers in there, and all the information you need to get insurance will be included in the agreement. It's a learning experience for all of us, but we're hoping it's a good learning experience. We have a lot of interest. Yes. Seems all full. There's no spots available. <laughs> we're kind of doing a first come first serve for signups, so it's kind of a running list of whoever signs up first. We're contacting them first to rent to them, and, but we're also trying to do it by area, so we're not necessarily bouncing halfway across the world to, versus just bouncing down the road. Counting, counting, but. <laughs> Especially for now, since we don't necessarily have a trailer, the shorter amount of distance we can travel with it, the better. It will stand a lot more. So are you ready to go to look at your drill?